things in life are free. But you can give them to the birds and bees. I want the money. We appear to have a stray owl. Yeah. <laughs> Best to sing along with that one. <laughs> According to the government, Aussies spend up to $2.5 billion annually on those gift cards. Now, if your jaws haven't dropped already, 20% of us, 20%, admit that the bulk of our Christmas budget is spent on these uh, prepaid vouchers. Yeah, today on Rip Off, we're looking at gift cards weighing up whether the popular present is a waste of money or smart spending. Here to talk us through the tricks and traps is Consumer Affairs commentator Joe Uchukolo. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Good morning. Okay, give it to us. How many people do not cash in or redeem those gift cards? A whopping $17 billion is wasted on expired gift cards each year. In Australia? In Australia, and that averages out to $77 per is, gift card. Is that like a, do we have a percentage? Like, do we like, do we know like 50% of them never get redeemed? Well, or like it's 2.5 billion sold, right. 70 million never redeemed. Oh, so that's a fair <laughs> chunk. I, I reckon the, that's uh, close to 58%. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Anybody get a calculator? Yeah. Um, wow. wow. Isn't that remarkable? We're, we're seeing a lot of retailers uh, go under now as we move on. So well, what does that mean? Um, what does that mean so if, if you have this? If a retailer goes broke, there's no one left for you to redeem the gift card with. So we saw this in Christmas 2015 when Dick Smith went bust. A lot of people were left out of money, out of pocket, because their gift card wasn't able to be redeemed. But if a business is sold, then the new owner should let you redeem the gift card. It's worth pointing out, I think Dick Smith gave everyone a lot of warning on that. Right? No. Did, no, did that just no, happen? No, 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 no. That happened overnight. No, yes, and there was businesses that came to rescue, <laughs> like Australia Post, that allowed people we were to get refunds. about it for a long time. <laughs> no, no, you're, that's incorrect. Um, come November. <laughs> Come November next year, new federal laws will make every gift card remain valid for a minimum of three years. This is a great move. Why can't we introduce this straight away? Why do we have to wait until November next year, Joe? That is a question for the government, but mm. in New South Wales, they have ro rolled out these rules. And so now what we're seeing is these rules getting rolled out nationally, and they're a great change because one of the biggest traps for consumers is short expiry periods, mm. and, and just they, that they vary across all the stores, so it's really hard for us to keep track of, you know, where our gift cards are at. OK, until that happens, what uh, rights do consumers have if their card expires before they've used it? So, you, look, legally the, the business does not need to honour your gift card, but it's definitely worth asking the question. You can either turn up in store, make the call, or even write an email. And what you're asking for is for them to either extend the expiry period for the, for the card you've got or to reissue a new one. Don't be afraid to ask. It does work, I promise. Gift cards, a rip-off or not? Final verdict for this Christmas, they are a rip-off. These, oh. these new changes aren't coming into effect until November next year. Mm. And they're, um, so this year, check the expiry period of any gift cards that you purchase. Some really great retailers are saying no expiry on some of their gift cards. Mm -hmm. So so consider Just that. double check. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. I have one that expires at the end of November. We're only three days into December. Do you reckon it's okay? Yes. Like I said, contact them and say, oh, can you extend yeah, the expiry? Either that fine. or out them on the morning show. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. I'll see how I go first. People are scared of that. <laughs> Thanks, John. Thank you. Soon, Aussie superstar Eric Banner makes a major announcement. If I asked you what information...